Hi there, Nancy Reeves here, your fundraising coach. I provide nonprofit leaders, board and staff alike, with a roadmap to raise more money through major gifts. Nonprofit leaders, I have a question for you. How do you plan to show donor love at Valentine this year? To begin with, you have a huge opportunity with Valentine approaching. This is a time to show, especially your top donors, how much you love and appreciate them. It's a time to let your donors know how much their support means to you. I worked with amazingly creative staff in my previous position as executive director of a nonprofit. In the first year of targeting our messages at Valentine, our team focused on those who may feel left out or alone on Valentine. Widows, widowers, and singles, for example. We created a special Valentine card for them. Then each of us wrote a personalized note on the card. It was so well received that the next year we expanded our reach at Valentine. Before I continue, make sure you subscribe to my weekly insights by clicking here. For one, you won't miss out on any fundraising tips and my free upcoming masterclass. It's called Fundraising Maximized, the three behind the scenes secrets to your fundraising success. You don't want to miss it. Okay, let's talk Valentine and donor love. As my friend Morgan Emmeheiser of Child Care Resources says, no one ever gets upset from my saying thank you, so why not say it as much as possible? Without question, you cannot thank a donor enough, and Valentine is Donor Love Month. Let's look at several ways to show donor love this Valentine. Number one, target special messages to your top 100 donors. You know I want you to always have a top 100 major donor prospect list. That list includes current and potential major donors. It does not have to be 100. Create a manageable list for you and your team. You're going to send everyone on this list a Valentine card with a personalized note. The key is personalization. No doubt it will take time to write notes to 100 people, but it is important if you want to keep your major donors you have and bring in new supporters. This is something you can do right now, so get your cards ready and start personalizing. Number two, make special deliveries to your top 10 major donors. Now, it does not have to be 10. Again, identify a small and manageable list of your most loyal, dedicated, and reliable major donors. That includes individuals, corporate leaders, and foundation decision makers. You want to really wow this group. You want them to continue giving and increase their giving. So consider a delivery on Valentine's Day, not the day before, but on Valentine's Day if at all possible. For example, reserve ahead a specialty from a notable bakery or sought after baker in town. Have treats individually wrapped and add a unique tag. Be creative. Consider play on words. Be thoughtful, goofy if appropriate for you, and unique for sure. Now, add an individualized, thoughtful note to each tag. Clearly, call your donors ahead of time to determine when you can drop by to see them. Ideally, you, the executive director, development director, board chair, or any board member can make these deliveries. Without a doubt, it is an opportunity for you to say thank you, surprise and delight your donors, and squeeze in a quick visit. Alternatively, these special deliveries do not have to be baked items. As I've shared before, consider taking doggy or pet treats to donors who have pets. Who thinks of that? Your pet-owning donors will be blown away when you bring that little member of the family a Valentine treat. Here's another idea. Consider video interviewing someone who has benefited greatly because of your nonprofit's work. You're creating separate videos for a handful of your top donors. Ask the interviewee to call each donor by name. Certainly, this can be a one to two minute video. It does not need to be long. Furthermore, have the interviewee talk about their transformation, what life or a place was like before and now after the help and support that was provided by your organization. Have them share that it was because of the donor's generosity that lives or places were changed. 
Absolutely, have the interviewee share how much the donor is valued and appreciated. In summary, whatever you decide as a thank you gesture, you want your donors, especially your major donors, to feel valued and appreciated. This is stewardship at its best. Stewardship is how you make a donor feel. So make your donors feel extra special on Valentine's Day. If you like today's fundraising message, I have more in my free upcoming masterclass, The Three Behind the Scenes Secrets to Your Fundraising Success. We're going to talk about what is holding you back from raising more money. It was prepared with you in mind. To receive details and your free fundraising plan, go to fundraisingmaximize.com and click on the bright green button. That's fundraisingmaximize.com. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.